What's up guys? We're here at Vanderbilt Country Club today. We're going to be teaching you guys how to hit a flop shot, attack those short sided pins, and start lowering your scores. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's pretend you're out playing with your buddies, you find yourself short-sided, right behind a bunker, you gotta go up and over, up and down, in order to tie them. It's an extremely intimidating shot, and a lot of people struggle with it. I see most of the time people struggle with it because they try to help the ball in the air too much. And by that I mean they tend to lean backwards, flip, and either catch it heavy behind the ball, or catch it thin and just thin it right over the green. So today we're going to teach you about the three things you guys need to focus on in order to successfully hit this shot. I see golfers time and time again get way too tense over shots that they feel uncomfortable with. They, they stand over the ball, they already know that they can't do it, so they start tensing up their arms, their grip gets extremely tight, their swing gets extremely rigid. There's no way you can hit this golf shot by, by looking that way. So what you need to do is you need to loosen up your hands and wrists, almost feel like it's just noodly. You can just flip right on through the ball. Alright guys, so number one thing here is setup. So, for your setup, very basic. What you want to do is you want to have the ball off your front foot. Especially on a tight lie like this, you definitely want it off your front foot. If not, maybe even off your front toe. So for right now, I'll put it right off my front heel. You want to have a nice wide base. And you want to be open to your target. So if my target's down here, I want my feet to be slightly open. Ball position off the front foot, and you want to get about 70% of your weight on your front foot. Next thing you want to do is you want to open up your club face, and by doing this, you're not gripping the club and then opening it, because as soon as you do that, the club face is just going to come immediately back to square. So what you want to do is you actually want to rotate the club in your hands and then re-grip it. That way it's going to stay open the entire time. Right, guys, number two on this list is swing path. You're going to want to swing outside to in when hitting this shot. So what I like to think about is I played baseball my whole life. So I like to think about if I'm standing at home plate, I want to hit it with my club head going towards the shortstop. So from behind, it would look something like this. So if I'm right here, I want to be taking it outwards so the club head's getting further away from you and then you're gonna be swinging out towards where the shortstop would be standing, cutting across your body. And the third and final thing here is the release. So the release is extremely important with this shot. Most of the time when you're taking a normal shot, you want your hands to finish in front of the golf ball. You wanna compress the ball, and that's where you get that solid compression feeling and you can generate some spin. But for this shot, you actually want to have your hands set behind the golf ball and then as you come through, you want to feel like you're flipping early, almost getting that early extension feeling, and finishing with the club in front of the hands. So as you come through, finish with the club in front of the hands, with the loft facing straight in the air. Outside in, hands open. and if you found yourself in the rough the shots really no different the only change you make is the ball position isn't quite as forward as normal so you're gonna have it a little bit closer to middle not quite middle and it's really just the same shot wait on your front foot open the club head and just release through All 
All right, guys, hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button uh, and also hit that bell notification icon just so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Um, and thanks, guys. Till next time. Peace.